Hello, Jess T. Good here. Today I'm taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars AAT set. This has four minifigures, 286 pieces, and retails for $40 in the United States, where it releases in the United States September 1st. Let's take a look at those minifigures. The main reason a lot of people buy this set is because of the exclusive Ahsoka figure. It's very rare that we get Ahsoka figures in LEGO Star Wars nowadays. I mean, the last one we got was for a Rebel set back in, what, 2016? That design was different from the Clone Wars version. So this is our first Clone Wars version in a very long time. And one part that stands out to me is it's our first Clone Wars version without those ridiculous looking eyes. When the Clone Wars sets were first introduced back in 2008, all the figures had these really cartoony, weird looking eyes. And Ahsoka never got that fixed until the Rebels version, which was inaccurate to the Clone Wars design. So I like what's going on here. This does use the Rebels piece though, which a lot of people are saying is inaccurate because... Just the ends there are a little bit longer than they should be. This design is a rubber piece, so that's why it's a little bit hard to remove from the head. Ah, but there you go. The head piece is removed. Either way, at the back, she does have an alternate face where she looks quite angry. And with that head part attached, that looks pretty cool as well. And the set does come with two lightsabers for Ahsoka. This next figure they call the Ahsoka's Trooper figure. This design has the 501st torso and legs, but that helmet has a really nice new printing with the orange at the front. Really love that design. Face print underneath is that updated face. Really like how they updated that to make that a little bit more accurate, and it's nice to add another flush minifigure to the collection. And the set includes two exclusive new battle droids. One of them they call the AAT Driver. This design has an olive green body and also some printing on the head. And you have that set at the back. You know how these battle droids work, where you can move the arms independently, as well as move the body and the head. So for the build for the 2020 AAT, this design has a smaller size than some of those earlier version looks like, but keep in mind I'm not like a Clone Wars expert, so I might be incorrect with some of the accuracies here and there. This design, I actually really like how they capture some of the curves at the side and at the front. You will notice there's this ridiculous little turret right here for a cannon front and the design for this just doesn't look like it's the right size. It looks a little bit too big and long. I think they should have shortened this cannon head just a bit. The design also has some inaccuracies with the coloring where I've seen a lot of people complain how this set is missing that stripe in the middle. Still, again, some really nice round parts here, especially getting these pieces in a dark brown. At the front, we have this part that opens up and you can put a battle droid to man the AAT inside. And there's two stickers with these two by twos. There's also a little cockpit area where you could open this part up and you could put another battle droid inside there, though even if it's not holding the weapon, there's not really a way to close it all the way when somebody's sitting in there. Other than that, this top part rotates clearly, which works very well. And these turrets at the side, you could move up and down all around. I like the posability there. Not too much else to show with the AAT's build. There is one last play feature where if you press down on these, those missiles go launching. That's it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. The box is that $30 long box design. I wish it was actually $30. You can see some shots at the back. As for the instructions, the end has an advertisement of some of those sweet summer sets and the Skywalker Saga. So overall, I'm surprised at how much I ended up liking the build of the set. It's a very smooth looking design from a lot of different angles. And I never had interest in AATs, always judging them by the cover. And maybe those older versions weren't as good as this version. I feel like this is a very good and concise size for me to appreciate it. But I don't have connection to the show and I've heard there's some inaccuracies there. One of the accuracy I really don't like is the size of the cannon right here, where it feels like it's very ridiculous and just how long it's pointing out here. And compared to how it looks in the show, it's a lot shorter. So to me, I don't know what was really going on there, and that could kind of detract from the whole look. Other than that, the minifigure selection is fantastic, where all of them are exclusive. We have a very cheap way to get Ahsoka and that trooper that looks very cool. I feel like the price is not good though. This is something that should have been $25 to $30, but what we end up paying is $40. Star Wars sets always feel like they're a little bit overpriced, but this one in particular really weighs it down, where this could have been a great way to get Ahsoka for very cheap, and it still is, 
but it feels like you are paying a little bit more because Lego knows you'll buy it for Ahsoka. Lego knows you'll buy it for these exclusive figures and for a vehicle that we haven't gotten in quite a while. So with all things considered, I'd end up rating this set a C+. Again, like the build a lot more than I thought it would, even if it's not perfect, like the minifigure selection, but the price does weigh it down. Either way, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.